the equation of a line that passes through these two points. So again, I'm going to be writing my answer in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. And I do these as a fill in the blanks, so I want to know uh, the blanks I'm going to have are y equals something times x, that will be my slope, plus something, which will be my b value. No matter what, the first thing I always find is slope. Depends on what they give you, or, or depending on what they give you, we're going to find slope different ways. Sometimes they give us the slope, sometimes they make us work with parallel and perpendicular lines. Unfortunately, this time we're going to have to calculate the slope using our slope formula, uh, that y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2 formula. So first thing first, let's go ahead and calculate the slope between these two points. So I'm going to say negative 2 minus 10, and my x values are going to be uh, 5. Oops minus 2. So let's do that calculation. I get negative 12 divided by 3, which I can simplify to just a negative 4. So there's my slope. Uh, I'm going to circle that, but remember that's not my answer, that's just the slope. But I do have one of the blanks I can fill in. That first blank was my slope, so I know I've got this much so far. y equals negative 4x plus something. Well that something is the b value, so I don't know what that is, but I'm going to write out as much as I know. I know negative 4x plus I'm going to put b there for right now. Uh, I have too many variables. There's an x, there's a y, there's a b. So let's replace two of those variables with something. We should be able to find another variable. Uh, just like the previous example, if you watch that video, I remember that these points, the point of giving us the point, is that we now have an x and a y value. Remember, a point is an x and it's a y. Now I circled I could write my x, x and y. Now I circled this point, that's the point I'm going to choose to use, although it turns out it doesn't matter. You could have used this point if you wanted to as x and y. Uh, I chose to use this one because there were no negatives in it, but either point will get you the same answer. That might be a good way to check your work if you're not sure if you did it right. So let's go ahead and plug those values in for x and y. So my y value is 10 equals negative 4. My x value is 2. And now at this point, I only have that single variable to solve for. So let's go ahead and work this out. I've got 10 equals negative 8 plus b. b. I'm going to add 8 to both sides to solve for b. And I get an answer of 18. I'll circle that as well. But again, that's not my answer. Our whole goal was to write an equation. So I've found a slope. I found a b value. I haven't answered their question, but the good news is I can answer it very quickly. So there's my b value of 18. So I'll plug that in my equation. And then if I want to write that a little bit neater, uh, the equation of the line that uh, passes through those two points would be negative 4x plus 18. If you want to graph this on your calculator, you could take a look at your table. A great way to check would be to uh, check your table and make sure that those two points are on this line.